Dear viewers, we are presenting our program with a new episode of the Security Report that features the highlights of terrorist acts perpetrated by lawbreakers this week. By using monotop cocktail, iron rods, and other objects, and by blocking roads with burning tires and trash bins, terrorists are trying to disrupt normal everyday life. They're trying to create a traffic mess, jeopardize security and stability, and compromise people's interest. These illegal acts of sabotage are unacceptable by any community. They represent a senseless mindset that forgets that a humane society is based on human interaction and understanding. Monotov have never been part of any language to convey a message, except of terrorism. Twelfth of September, acts of vandalism and attempts to harm people's interests spread to more than one site. Thugs blocked roads with burning tires and trash bins at Malmia and Bunny Jamra. They also hurled Molotov cocktails and iron rods at police jeeps that arrived to clear those roads. One policeman sustained medium injuries and was taken to hospital. Police took legal action to restore order and bring the situation back to normal. Thirteenth September. This day was no different from the previous one in terms of acts of vandalism and terror which disturbed the lives of the residents in a number of areas. Wayward groups continued with their sinister plans without caring for the interests of the people and ignoring obedience to the law and Bahraini ethics. Thus, thugs in Nuwaidrat, Mukaba, Baba, Al Salhia, Hamis, Abu Saiba and Al Muksha burnt tires to block roads and disturb the general order. When police patrols tried to clear the roads, policemen were attacked with Molotov cocktails and iron rods. Police forces restored stored order and brought the traffic back to normal in those areas. Fourteenth of September. In Mamir, a number of people participated in an illegal rally and blocked internal roads with trash bins, stones and pieces of wood. They also hurled stones at police jeeps. Police dealt with them according to legal regulations. The same procedures were followed in dealing with the thugs in East Eka, Hamis, Jablat Habshi, Bani Jamra and Hamid Town. Those acts badly affected the people's convenience. A Bahraini's car was also damaged in Ras Raman when Molotov cocktails were thrown at it. In order to maintain security and stability, police forces continued to clear approaches to a number of villages to ensure the safety of the residents. But the thugs didn't bother about the safety and convenience of those people. This means that the lawless acts were carried out by those easily incited and misled. People have appreciated the efforts of the police forces.
15th of September. In East Ecker, Citromasa and Citrusafala, thugs blocked roads and held Molotov cocktails at police. Legal action was taken against them to bring the situation back to normal. Similar acts were committed in Daraz, Saar, Karana, Maumir, Hamala, Damistan and Sheikh Jawa al Ahmed al Subar Road near Sitra, where thugs blocked roads and disrupted traffic. When police tried to deal with them, they were attacked by Molotov cocktails. Legal action was taken to bring the situation back to normal. Seventeenth of September. Police patrols also dealt with thugs in Nawadrat and Bani Jamra after they blocked roads with burning tires and held Molotov cocktails at police. The 18th of September. A group of thugs blocked Sheikh Jabba al Ahmed Road with burning tyres. This disrupted the traffic. Acts of vandalism were also committed in Saar, Bani Jamra, Nuedrat and Maumir, and police dealt with them according to the law. Thugs burnt tyres and poured oil on Road 35 at Oman Road Junction in Zinj. They also planted a strange object in the middle of the road. The road was closed on both sides to put out the fire and remove the oil by the civil defence. The explosives detection team found that the object was a fake bomb. Some material normally used for rioting and to commit acts of vandalism were also seized, including Molotov cocktails, oil tanks, paint and a homemade device to fling iron rods. And an ambulance with an emergency case was stuck in it. If these thugs are trying to undermine the achievement of law-abiding and peaceful people with their criminal acts, they will fail. Our social fabric is too strong and too resilient to be torn apart by these criminals. We shall meet again next week to monitor the terrorist acts committed by those who chose to go outside Bahraini society and break our laws and bring disgrace to themselves. Goodbye. <laughs>